Hi, welcome to another edition of the Alan Rosenberg Show. It is 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I got home not that long ago. Tired and I got a headache and I was not planning on doing a video. In fact, I came home, put my stereo on, put on the new live edition of Hackney Diamonds and I was enjoying it. And put uh, my Facebook on and I saw a message that said, Melanie died, Melanie Safka. And I'm like, oh man, I go way back with Melanie. Um, maybe I should do a video. So I checked my uh, YouTube channel because I want to answer if anybody wrote me anybody. And David wrote me and he said, hey, you know, Melanie died. I'm like, David, man, I just saw this like five minutes ago. You know what? I'm going to do it. So let's do a little uh, tribute to Melanie. Melanie Safka, uh, I guess uh, hopefully you know who she is. She actually was born in Queens and um, kind of go way back with her. And a lot of people might because of this record right here. So I was born in 1963. In 1971, and this is the one, she put out a 45. It was kind of a novelty hit called Brand New Key. There's the original record on Neighborhood Records. It was a number one hit here in the United States. I got a brand new pair of road skates. You got a brand new key. Really, you know, clever, fun, kind of a novelty song, but everybody liked it. It was a number one hit, and there's my was my first Melanie record. Now, this is actually a pretty revolutionary record, and you're like, really? No, because Melanie was on Buddha Records. And David, this is going to go down, and I'm not in the mood for a major collapse. So she was on Buddha Records, which I have a lot of Buddha Records. And here's an early album called The Good Book. And she was so cute, right? And she was, you know, the whole vegetarian thing long before vegetarian was cool. And there she is. And there she's playing her guitar. And this is an album called The Good Book. Buddha Records. Nice packaging. Actually came with like a book, as you can see here, with the lyrics. Um, and drawn drawings about the song Babe Rainbow. That was a favorite of mine. Birthday of the Sun, Nickel Song. Yeah, you know, Melanie, we all liked her a lot, you know. So this was the good book uh, on Buddha Records. And then um, she decided to leave Buddha Records and start her own label, hence Neighborhood Records. She was ahead of her time, 1971, doing her own record label with her husband, uh, Peter Shekarek. Shekarek, he was the producer as well. And anyway, not, not a bad way to start, right, with a number one album. Uh, Buddha Records didn't go kindly with that. They put this album out called Garden in the City, and great cover. And a really cool cover is if you go like that, oh, she is actually now in the garden versus the city. And there are, you know, other Melanie albums you would enjoy, uh, some great albums, you know. Leftover Wine, the one with Lay Down, we're going to talk about that. She didn't like this album because this was uh, basically a lot of tracks that were leftovers that didn't make the other albums. But I actually thought this was a pretty good album, Melanie, and um, Garden in the City in particular, the title track, I thought was really good. Man, David, I hope this doesn't go down. Uh, if you wanted to get into Melanie, my favorite Melanie album up to that point um, was this one called The Best Melanie. Uh, double. This was a double album series that Buddha Records used to put out for like all of their artists, and this was just a great collection. I mean, you know, beautiful people. Oh, what a great song that is! Um, I loved all these songs. In the hour, I really loved Harold. Any guy, I'm back in town. What have they done to my song? Ma? That's a classic. Lay down, candles in the rain. One of the greatest songs in the history of music. You're like, really? Don't be so dramatic. Now I'm telling you. Who was it? I did a video of like my all-time favorite songs. I actually thought of that song and I didn't do it. And one of my viewers, and I think it was Rona, you know, the, the one she writes like incredible. And she said, uh, lay down candles in the rain. She picked, I was like, God damn, what a, an amazing choice, which I had thought of. That is one of the most powerful songs ever with the Edwin Hawkins singers. She, she wrote that song about her performance at uh, Woodstock, which was the same year her first album came out. So she was a real newbie. Uh, what an amazing song. Peace Will Come According to Plan, Babe Rainbow. Uh, I had a friend in high school named Denise. I'm sure she's never going to see this video. But if you do, Denise, I'm thinking about you. Because me and Denise uh, in high school, that was 1980 or so. And we used to sing that song, Babe Rainbow. 
her covers of Carolina on my mind. Ruby Tuesday, the Stone song, she does great. Mr. Tambourine Man. And my favorite side on this album was that side four. A lot of it was live, and she would do, I don't eat animals, and they don't eat me, and animal crackers. Psychotherapy, that was a great one. That's the one now. Uh, what was that line, Denise? Do you remember that line? If it's longer than it's wide, it's a phallic symbol. Great line, great song. Um, so a lot of people just think of Melanie from that period, and that was certainly her prime. But I got to tell you, uh, in 1978, maybe, or 79, she was on Tomato Records, and she put this one out called Ballroom Streets. And this was a double album. And this was a live album with a full band. She's really good with a full band. She's a rocker when she wants to be. And this was live in like a studio with a full band to a very small audience. But she goes back and she does a lot of her songs. And this uh, this was one of my favorite albums of that year that it came out um, um, called Ballroom Streets. And uh, there's some of my favorite songs of all time by anybody who's on this album. Running Out of Love, Running After Love, uh, Holding Out. She does a medley called Cyclone and Candles in the Rain on this. I die and go to heaven. Now, I got to trademark that line, but it's true. I, I die and go to heaven. That's how great it is. Beautiful Sadness, uh, Buckle Down, Miranda, um, Brand New Keys on here is okay. I mean, this is a really good latter-day Melanie album. If you ever find it on CD, let me know, because I've never seen it on CD. Um, that's a fine record. That was a cutout. Um Funny, now, last year, I picked this up on CD. I found this at a record show. Her album called Photograph, which was the one and only album she did on Atlantic Records. I think this might have been 78. This is a tremendous album. And this is the one that had Cyclone on it. Um, and this is with a full band, uh, Groundhog Day, Nickel Song, Photograph, uh, Save Me, Rain In, Friends and Company. This is a great album. And this was a two-CD set with bonus tracks and unreleased demos and things like that. This was one of my favorite albums of the year last year. So that was uh, very coincidental. You want to get into Melanie and on CD, you can pick up. There's a lot of compilations like Beautiful People, The Greatest Hits of Melanie. And it's kind of similar to that Buddha one, but not as good, really. But it, it's still really close. A lot of her greatest songs are on here. Um, and I will tell you, a lot of day... 45 I had tucked up, which I loved, was this one. This was the thing called One More Try on Portrait. The flip side is called Apathy. Great track. Um, I don't know if you could, maybe it's on YouTube. Check out Apathy by Melanie. Great song. This is with a full band. Like, she's rocking out, like, on Ballroom Street. So a whole different side of Melanie, and it's great. Um, what else? I went to see her many years ago, and um, when I go see a lot of my favorite artists, um, in small places, you know, I try to meet them. Um, believe it or not, I'm not a starstruck person at all. I just want to meet them and talk about their music with them. Um, I would love one day if I could ever interview anybody. But I love to talk to them. And I've had some pretty good conversations with some artists. And I always bring something from my archives to get them to sign so I could frame it and hang it up. And I met Melanie. She was playing with her son. Her son was in the band with her. And I asked her, after talking with her, if she would sign something, and she did. And this was uh, her current album at that time, which was Freedom Knows My Name. And uh, she signed it right there, For Alan With Love, Melanie, um, 1997 that was. So I thought that was pretty special, and I framed it, and I have it hang in in uh, my basement, which is where I keep all my records and CDs and stuff, well, most of them anyway. So that was a pretty cool thing. So Melanie, um, you know, the real deal. She started her own record label way ahead of other most other female artists, maybe all female artists, I don't know. But that was in 71 with Brand New Key. A really good artist, a folk singer, but also a rocker. Writes her own songs. Um, great cover versions as well. Um, and clearly a wonderful mother and grandmother and great-grandmother. And wonderful person. Um, so it's a sad loss. And I, I just felt I had to say something about Melanie. Uh, Denise, my old friend from high school, if you ever watch this, I'm thinking about you, Babe Rainbow. And um, anybody else who uh, loves Melanie, go listen to her. And if you don't know Melanie, you're going to thank me and Rona who wrote this. Go check out Candles in the Rain.
you got to hear that song with the Edwin Hawkins. It's one of the greatest songs in the history of music, for real. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching my tribute. Um, we got a little advertisement here from Madrugada, another one of her albums. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out other videos. Hit subscribe so you get notifications of my videos. And um, as always, I appreciate you watching me. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time.